With more barriers now expected for women, more than 500 people took to the streets of San Antonio today to protest. They chanted with signs outside of the downtown federal courthouse. The 19th team's Patty Santos was there and tells us why this, they say this is just the beginning of their march for change ahead. Well, this is a day of, to me, warning. I mean, we lost our rights. My daughter lost her rights. <laughs> Several local organizations turned out to protest the Supreme Court's decision. All people who say they cannot sit back silently as history unfolds. It hits me especially hard, like knowing that I have all these women in my life and they're being hurt by this. There's a lot of us very, very scared right now. Texas doctors say this ruling will hurt women whose lives are at risk unless they terminate their pregnancy. People who are recently diagnosed with serious diseases such as cancer, while in the early stages of pregnancy should also be free to get an abortion. There's also severe preeclampsia, le lethal birth defects, and catastrophic medical complications that are reasons that other women un undergo an abortion. Bottom line, they say this will affect women who are low income minority and live in rural communities the most. Doctors say these are women who must act now to protect their bodies. See their doctor, get on birth control, get on long acting birth control, like an IUD while it's still, you know, available um, and talk to your doctor about risks. There's a lot of anger and frustration in this crowd, but there's also a lot of motivation for the battle ahead. Two streets, our streets. Two streets. Marching and voting is just the beginning. Continue to vote 100 percent, but I mean, at this point, I don't really know. I don't want to say that it's hopeless, and that's that's exactly why we're here. That's why I brought them here, because I don't want them to give up, because I'm not giving up. No one should. So, I mean, at this point, we just keep fighting. The mayor and district attorney Joe Gonzalez were at tonight's rally, and Gonzalez saying he does not plan to prosecute women who seek abortions. Uh, on the other side, however, his Republican opponent, Mark LaHood, said he will enforce every law that is on the book. Stephania.